Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Uh, as you can see, I've also opted once again for um, my second um, apartment kind of renovation slash speed build from scratch. Um, so what I did was I found another apartment, completely bulldozed it down into one room and decided to make it into a little speed build. So um, my inspiration for this one was um, I was thinking I wanted to make an apartment for at least more than one person because I feel like all of them I go for something simple and um, I'll be generous with the space I have uh, because you have enough space for just one bedroom and a bathroom, kitchen and living room. So I thought I'd make an apartment for at least two people and then it came to my head, why don't I make um, a kind of apartment for university students or college students and two of them? because I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, so the aim and kind of direction of my interior and uh, I didn't, you can't really edit the exterior of apartments, which is a little bit annoying, um, was a university kind of um, dorm, I guess. Um, these are kind of inspired by ones that I've come across um, in London and out of London. Just the kind of generic, very plain, but decorated by the um owners and the residents um to look a bit more like custom and a little bit more homey uh, i try to make it look a little bit tacky and nice like in a nice way not like a bad tacky i can't really explain it um but in my head like just college students like putting up posters because you can't really have paintings and proper stuff hung on the walls and like just lots of their school work clutter and stuff like that uh and like bits and bobs in the bathroom but everything else like the main um like um generic kind of stuff like the bath like for example the bathroom like it's very like clinical looking and um kind of like a really basic hotel that was kind of what i was going for with the underground layout and interior of it if that makes any sense which it probably doesn't but you also see with the kitchen it's like very basic but then I cluttered it a little bit nothing too fancy because it's meant to be for like students kind of student accommodation so they're not going to really have anything too fancy although this mirror I debated getting rid of because it is pretty fancy uh, but I feel like some university bathrooms are quite nice like this this is a luxurious apartment let's say for semi-broke students <laughs> Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be really fun because um, with like the wallpaper of the bedrooms and the flooring, I thought it'd be generic because it's what they bought the house with or the apartment with. Um, and so I customised it with all the little bits and bobs they would have like bought to when they moved in, which I thought was nice. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was kind of exciting and a fun build. Um, the one thing that annoys me about um, renovating apartments rather than building from scratch is you can't change the windows now I don't know if this is literally just me and I haven't figured out how to do it which is probably likely uh but you can't change even the color of the windows and obviously which kind of makes sense you can't change the outside wallpaper of the house which is kind of fine because obviously it needs to match the rest of the apartment block and building uh but it really annoys me that you can't like delete or change the windows and that's one thing I wish I did um but anyway uh aside from that I quite like doing apartments because it's nice having a break from having to design the whole exterior because I kind of hate doing roofs and stuff roofs 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 um and so I don't know it's nice I like doing um long speed builds but I want a little break to do some short ones so why not um so this was the first room I went for uh I gave them kind of like uh, a desk and stuff a laptop because I wanted to make it very centralized around the theme of their students uh, and I kind of like how the wallpaper is kind of a bit faded and shit <laughs> because I don't know student life it just reminds me of that and just some other educational stuff like a pin board uh, but then this one I thought I'd make it like the cr uh, very bright and colorful room uh, and had loads of posters on the walls and stuff uh, and also I throw in some other little props I kept fussing with the swatches because none of them I could get to match it was stressing me out this just stresses me out on a daily basis these swatches oh my goodness why they never match they're like a slight different like tint of a different colored wood and it drives me absolutely nuts but I eventually settled on something uh, but this was the second room um, I wanted it to be a little bit more 
reserved kind of well, not reserved like more professional I guess like more like a, a diligent hard-working student and like some educational posters and like um, a nice desk with work stuff I feel like the other one's more of like I'm going to uni and college for the party life and stuff like that I don't know that's the kind of thing I had in my head um, but again I made sure that the beds were the same type the um, desks were the same type and as you'll see in a minute I made the drawers the same type as well because I wanted to make it look like uh, just reinforce the whole university thing of like how every room has the same interior sometimes in the same layout um, and it's kind of it's almost like they copy and paste the rooms in university it's really odd um, but I guess it's it makes sense they're not going to personalize it but the kids personalize it themselves so that's kind of what I was going for um, but yeah I went in and tried to make some cool carpets and design the walls another weird thing is this apartment was super tall I didn't look to see if I could edit the height but I probably couldn't have because um the whole building would have had the same height of walls if that makes sense even the whole floor and I wasn't editing the whole floor it was just one room of the floor if that makes sense or one uh, apartment of the floor um so it felt really difficult trying to fill in the gap like on the wall like the walls look super bare and super tall didn't really like it but I gave it a go uh, also those hanging lights I realized oh air freshener lovely <laughs> um, I realized we're hanging off a corner wall that I forgot I put in so just thought I'd shout out that mistake because it looked very very annoying also it was weird because this is like a kind of diagonal walled house apartment thing I tried my best to make that counter bit in but now I'm looking at it the top bit just looks awful but I gave it a go try to hide it with a microwave did it work probably not but you know what gonna go for it <laughs> but as you can see quite a basic kitchen but kind of cluttered it with some bits and bobs uh, and then I went back and added some nice fairy lights to customize the room um, just to make it look a little bit more homely and cool uh, and then I went in to do the living room uh, I wanted it to look again a little bit studenty uh, and a little bit cheap uh, not that luxurious although most of the sofas I feel on uh, the sims are quite nice so I went for a, like a, a wicker kind of baskety what is that called it's like wicker I guess I don't know uh, wood uh, benchy kind of sofa and also I matched the table I really like that table I feel like I want to use it more but it's quite difficult because whenever I build like a, a living room I always have like want a table with a tv because I always want a tv in the room uh, which I think I did I stick with the tv in the end can't remember I don't think I did in the end and I think I just made it a coffee table um, but that's why I never use these like central coffee tables unless it's a fancy house and I'm gonna have a, like a flat screen wall TV because you always need a table to put the TV on if that makes sense, which kind of annoys me. And it looks weird with a, a circular coffee table and another table. Uh, no one probably knows what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling because I, I just have loads of things in the back of my mind that bug me about The Sims. <laughs> I'm so sorry, EA. I absolutely love this game and I love everything that it provides because oh my god there's so many great aspects in like build mode buy mode play mode it's it's pretty damn good and it's come a long way i mean don't get me wrong sims has improved so much from what it used to be although i do stay true to sims 2 and i think that's my favorite um but no it's, it's definitely a great game um i just there's certain things that i think we'd all tweak because perfectionism when building um but i don't think i've found a game that's better at like designing and building stuff like this i really like it it's very nice uh, and that's why i like to do loads of speed builds so hopefully more to come if you guys have any idea of speed builds you would like to see do let me know and i can get on that for you uh maybe a speed build series actually in terms of like one massive lot and like i'll make multiple videos i'm working on it something like that i don't know uh but anyway guys that was the lot i hope you enjoyed it uh this little speed build of this apartment for university residents uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it stay tuned for more videos uh and i will see you guys in the next one bye